Yeah. What'd you say, babe? Yeah, here I come. I got you. Phoenix. Phoenix. They, they, I, I, they, now they can easily be a, a player in because fuck it. <laughs> Listen, they don't want to beat her. <laughs> Yeah, ain't no one. Jay and the Pelicans just beat them. Then they in the playoffs last night. No, was the Mavericks. The Mavericks beat them. Uh, what's the name? What's his name? Um, Jay Crowder. They talking about getting rid of him. Yeah, because they look. They, I'm looking at depth, depth chart. They got Cam Johnson. I always thought Cam Johnson was better than um, Crowder. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Then they got Miles Bridges. I mean, Mikel Bridges, Devin Booker, and um, Chris Paul. If I was, if I was the Charlotte Hornets, I'd try to. If I was a shout out Hornets, I'd try to uh, tank and try to get Victor over there with LaMelo. <laughs> yeah. They're going to feel the season every night. Yeah. I still like the yeah. Hornets team. They just don't play no defense, though. Yeah, they don't. Because LaMelo, Rosier, and, hey, what's um, nice? and uh, Kenton what? Hayward, that's a nice backcourt. And then they got P.J. Washington. Hayward, stay. Hey, Gordon Hayward, as they hurt too much. Yeah, I think he gonna be better. Just because I mean, he came off that that horrible, that injury was horrible. Yeah, um, they they still got they got they still got Kelly Kelly Oubre, don't they? Yeah, Dennis Smith Jr., Cody Martin, Jalen Hart, Jalen McDaniels, and Mark Williams. Oh, he must be a rookie. Dennis Dennis De Dennis Smith away from Duke. He, away from Duke. Dennis, yeah. Dennis Smith Jr. became a bust. He's supposed to be he's supposed to be like John Moran and all of them. He did. So we got in the Eastern Conference Finals and what? Well, Eastern Conference Finals first. If you don't believe, you don't believe in Philly, you be going hard on hard. Though. I just don't. That that dude, he gonna disappear again. Maxie, Maxie looking like they said your best player. It's probably gonna be. I think it's gonna be Boston and Brooklyn, Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, Cause I think I'm harder think, on Brooklyn because I like Kyrie and them. That's my squad. But I, be, I think I'll be harder. So I had the Bucks and Celtics, but now I'm looking at it. I, th I think Boston for sure going back. And yeah, they're going. To, yeah, yeah, they, they, they got too good, bro. It's like, and and they got better with Malcolm Bryan and stuff like that. Yeah, I think the Celtics going back and uh, I just think the Nets can beat the Bucks without you, Kyrie. I don't care what nobody say, bro. I think yeah. the, I'm just saying. Like, it was like I don't think it hard, but it was like it was literally not even like it was two zero, bro. It was like everybody it's like it's like yeah, Harden got hurt and Kyrie, bro, or whatever. I think yeah, they the Bucks gonna struggle without Chris Middleton because they they ain't got no consistent scorer like that. Drew Holiday not a guy that can go. Get Only thing that can beat the, the next set is re, the big man game. They got Giannis, Portis, and um, Lopez. You can't stop them three, but. Mm. But I can see Boston giving Kyrie problems and Durant. But I can't see the Bucks giving Kyrie problems. He'd be busting their ass. He'd be killing them. Though. Yeah. They, can't they beat them last either. year when it was just Kyrie. I think Durant was out. Kyrie had 37 and they won in Milwaukee, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I just think this year, like, Kyrie not playing 10 games this year, bro. Unless he pull yeah. another. Yeah, I think he going to play. It's a contract year, too. I think he going to come out. I think he going to be balling. They got. I'm concerned about you the defense, could. but I mean Joe Harris and Steph Curry and Patty, they got some shooters. Royce O'Neal, yeah. Royce O'Neal and Ben, because I think I think if I think Brooklyn, I think Ben Simmons, I think Ben Simmons can guard Tatum. I think yeah, he's better than better Simmons. than what they had last year. And Royce O'Neal is a good defender too, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah. Because last year Boston. Jalen Brown and, and and Tatum, they is picking on a small back, the small the small guards on pick and roll, screen and roll. Right. See Ben, you could pick Ben on. You could pick them on Jalen Brown, some man, Jason Tatum. I'm looking at the bench. Well, I'm talking. It's gonna be Kyrie, Joe Harris, some of the starters, Durant, Ben Simmons, and Claxton. To the bench gonna be Sharp, T.J. Warren. Royce O'Neal, Seth Curry, and Patty Mills. That's a nice bench, bro. 
Mm-hmm. All of them can shoot. I mean, Terry Warren can get buckets too. Maybe that was the bubble. I'm just saying he can get. He, he was getting buckets. Team. He was getting buckets in Phoenix though. You're right. But he was looking yeah. like he was looking like Kawhi Leonard on the bubble. <laughs> oh yeah, he. <laughs> I mean, ain't his fault though. <laughs> but it's like playing at practice. Well, I see why you don't respect it. everybody tomorrow. It come, it come. All right. That's because I keep telling people if it wasn't no bubble and it was a regular season, Anthony Davis would have. I think Anthony Davis would have got hurt that year. Cause you notice he been hurt, hurt every since. You know his body can't hold up. But they kind of. Um, I um, think I think he gonna get hurt again because they trying to play. They try to start him at center. He don't want to play center. Why they keep doing that though? I mean, cause in today's NBA, you cannot play. You cannot play Thomas Bryant or Jones. They are gonna get torched though. Yeah, if they if they if they start tomorrow, Steph gonna smile when he see them in the pick and roll. Just send me a pick. <laughs> yeah, I think Steph and MB gonna have the biggest nights t- tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Well, I say MB for sure. Steph, I don't know. But Steph, I don't know. Cause Steph got more. He, he, he got, got more dudes. He got like Wiggins can go off a pool. Clay. Clay, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the Lakers, they ain't got no. They ain't got no perimeter defense. And then they talk about what? I heard Westbrook hurt. I heard he got a, a strained hamstring. I don't think he. I think he just don't want to beat her. <laughs> yeah. I think I don't know why they didn't. Why they didn't trade him? They couldn't get nobody to. They, they didn't want to go with that twenty twenty seven first round pick. Yeah. I think even if they got Miles Turner and Buddy Hill, that still ain't enough. Right. They probably just keep them out the plate. No, they still might be a playing team, bro. Cause my what's the name? I just feel like buddy, I just feel they might have to put on Brian James a lot, bro. He, he might average thirty again, but I don't think they're gonna win that much. I say I give LeBron twenty seven a game. He need to dial that shit back to twenty five. Anthony Davis should be the leading scorer on that team. Yeah. yeah. But he trying to break that motherfucker. I just seen record. AD put up fifty nine points in a game. I'm just saying, like, I'm just tired of him playing around, bro. He's supposed to be dominating everybody, I'm, bro. I'm a well, the first thing you got to keep up with him is like maybe MB. That's it. That's it. Everybody else needs to be killing. Because MB just as you know, saying B athletic too. So what's that? Destroyed AD last year. Cat, cat, cat destroyed AD last year in the matchups. Yeah. Sure. They move him back to his room. That's what Cat played in uh, college. He played power for it. Okay. In Kentucky. Yeah, I so, like that. I like Minnesota. They, I don't think they're going to be a play-in team this year, though. I think they're going to be making Because Go Beer is so good defensively. Oh, you talking about they're going to make the – you got them in the top six? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant they ain't gonna make it at all. I'm like, dang. No, oh, they're gonna make the playoff. I, I, I think Anthony Yeah was gonna take another step. I think he's gonna be an All Star this year too. Cause what guard left the what guard left the West? Oh yeah, Donovan Mitchell left. So that's a spot open. Donovan Mitchell, Gobert. Oh no, Gobert's still on the left. Okay. Ant Man, just a man. Yeah, I like him. You got oh yeah, but you still got damn I forgot. I forgot Clay came back. He might he might end up taking one of them all star spots. They gonna Clay have three all star because of Clay I'm not actually I mean he, he got a whole summer, he had a whole summer now he ain't coming in the middle of the season. Yeah. He go he gonna average mark him in for twenty. They might have four they might have four all stars this year. Minnesota they bench kinda shaky though. You seen they bench? Yeah, they bench not that good. Austin Rivers and McLaughlin, 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 whatever, McLaughlin. Yeah. And they got Kyle Anderson. I like Kyle Anderson. They got Nas Reed. Yeah. He all right. He, 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 cooked, he cooked the Lakers the other night. And all he did. <laughs> yeah. So, Gobert, I just don't know if like Gobert. And tell me, Towns got to shoot a lot of threes. He already shoot a lot of threes anyway, but we somebody down there to rebound. Yeah. Tatum McDaniels, I guess he out there for defense probably. Yeah, he they three a D guy. And he only 22. Uh, he young, too. I don't think. 
I think Memphis, I think Memphis without Jared Jackson at the beginning of this for a long period of time. I think they don't. And team go. I think teams go. Teams and then last year a lot of teams was hurt in the West, so yeah, they ain't gonna sneak up. Fifty six wins gonna come down, bro. But it's uh. You got Jamal Murray, MPJ coming back. You got Kawhi, and Paul George back. Yeah, bro. I love the Nuggets for sure. It's gonna be a top six. Uh, yeah. Warriors for sure. Yeah. Clippers, that's three. Mavericks, you got the Mavericks in the top six. Yeah, they're gonna be probably top five. And the Suns, bro. Oh well, yeah, the Suns. They still got Booker though, bro. Booker probably, you know. They need. They didn't get better at all in the all season. They didn't. That's what that's what I'm worried about. Cause I'm like the Pelicans, is a. Uh, I'm just saying, they well, Zion coming back, bro. They got three twenty point. They got they got three twenty point scores. Yep, and then a crazy rebounder, like a top five rebounder, probably. And he can get you. He can get you about sixteen a game, too. Yeah, they yeah Phoenix Devin Booker is they only because Chris Paul he he at this stage he don't be trying to score no more. It's just I Devin don't Booker, trust it, bro. I don't trust it. And they don't get a ball to eight like that, so. I don't know. I don't know about the guys. Yeah, the Milwaukee though, out the gate, I think they gonna struggle without Chris Middleton. Yeah, so you, got, so you got the Nets and um, so you so got in the West Conference Finals. What you think that's gonna be tough though? Yeah, I think I got Den- I got Denver and Golden State though. I know it's typical, but either Denver and Golden State or yeah. Golden or Golden State and the Clippers. Clippers, yes. I think Golden State. I think the Clippers the only team that can go small when Golden State like to play small ball. Yeah, they do got a squad though, bro. Because you can put. I like their bench. You got you got John Wall. You got uh uh. What's what's the shooter name? They used to play for the Pistons. The left hander. They got Luke Kennard. They got Luke Kennard, Norman Powell. Yeah. Nick Tomlin and Covington, that's their bench, bro. They bench how cold. They bench how cold. Yeah. And then the starters is Reggie Jackson, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Marcus Morris, and Zubat. Oh, yeah. Well, I like having John Wall out there with uh, Powell, Kennard, Batum, and Covington. All of them can shoot. Oh, yeah. So, and that's going to open up the floor. Yeah, then, you know, they're going to um, – Paul George going to play a lot of – get. he's going to have the ball in his hands on Leonard. So, that's probably why they're like, let's just bring Wall off the bench. yeah. yeah. I still got Terrence Mann too. He got me move all the way to third string though. That, that five eye name was a big bench and then. Yeah. I mean Terrence Mann, he's straight, but he kinda was like, it was like they ain't had no choice but to play because they ain't had nobody else. Yeah. Yeah, they got it. they got they got squad. And the Lakers, the Lakers all the, the Lakers haven't beat them. Well Talu has been the coach either. Even without Paul George and Kawhi last year, they swept the Lakers. Even when the Lakers had they own they they whole team, <laughs> cause they man they talking about some damn why to Scano Anderson who the hell he gonna guard? He not no wing defender. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Kawhi and Paul George gonna eat them dudes alive. They got they perim they little. Uh, so you your West pick who your West winner. Clippers. I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the champs. Some telling me, yeah, some telling me somebody on the Clippers go. It always happens. Somebody gonna get hurt. Right. I hope not though. I hope not, but yeah. In the East, Celtics are on next. I think Brooklyn gonna gonna beat them in seven. It's gonna go seven games. Oh, Brooklyn versus Golden State. Them them ratings gonna be so high. And it's gonna be a high. Damn, mm-hmm. doesn't go. It's gonna be Kyrie and KD versus Steph. Your squad. I think, and I think Golden State gonna beat them at six. Cause I think they got Golden State got more guys that can score. They got more scores. You got Steph, Poole, Wiggins, Clay. They got more guys that can go get twenty. They got that are <clears throat> consistent scores. <laughs> <coughs> and 
And then I trust Steve. I st- I trust Steve Kerr over Steve Nash in a, in a playoff series as a coach. Steve Kerr over Steve Nash. Yeah, the finals if they to meet up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I definitely trust Steve Kerr more. And then, and then only thing, only thing I don't like, only thing that worried me about Brooklyn in a half in a half court set, teams going to try to double team Kyrie and KD, and Ben knowing Ben can't shoot. That's the thing. That's the only thing that that worried me about them in the half court set. Out in transition, they gonna be good, but in the half court, I worry about their offense. Yeah, that's why I think in the regular season they are gonna win a lot of games just because they better than the other teams. Most of the other teams, yeah, they got yeah. more talent. But when they play ball, I don't think they can be. Like, they be Boston, they be. It's gonna be close, but it was close last year. You know, it was a sweep. Yeah. Yeah. That cool. Then, yeah. then T's gonna be trying to hack hack Ben uh Ben Simmons because he can't make free throws. Oh really? Dang, you think so? Yeah, they're gonna do that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, they're gonna yeah. do that rather than let him get an easy layup or whatever. Or create shots. I can't believe he still can't shoot though. I just don't get how you NBA player. You be shot. making them, boy. I. I I see him make him in practice as soon as the game comes. He don't take none. <laughs> they got a uh, – who else? The Pistons. The Pistons. They're going to they gonna, they gonna I, want, I, I just want to see how what year 2K do. Yeah, I think he won't. I think he won't step it up. I don't got the Pistons. I don't got them in there, honestly. I got them like just best in the play in. Cause what's the name? Jalen Green been killing in the preseason, boy. He been going crazy. I don't know. They got a nice little young team too. Yeah, it's sure. just I just think in the East though it's gonna be uh, I got Boston, Miami, Milwaukee, Brooklyn, Philly, and probably. I think I had Toronto or Cleveland, but then the next four, is, even if Toronto make it, it'd be Cleveland, Chicago, Atlanta, and it'd be between Pistons and Knicks, and I think the Knicks I think, is better than us, bro. Yeah, Miami didn't get better in all season either. It's terrible, dude. I don't know they why they don't have make moves, bro. They, they ain't add nobody. <laughs> they didn't add nobody. I think Cleveland going to be better than them. For sure. I mean, they ain't add nobody, but I guess I'm just thinking like they know their identity. They got the best coach, well, one of the best coaches in the league. Yeah, but that's not gonna do. I just think that's gonna be a regular season team. They might win 55 games. Cause you got Cleveland, you got Garland, you got you got Mitchell, you got Jack, Jerry Allen. You still you got Mobley. Then you still got uh, LeBert and Kevin Love coming off your bench. Robert Kevin Love, you got Coral, uh, Royal. I was wondering about Raul Nito from Washington. He on Cleveland now. Yeah, then they got Ricky Rubio as the backup. No, Rubio ain't there. No. Remember they traded him? No, he back on Cleveland. Rubio? I'm yeah, sure. he just haven't. He he ain't gonna be back until the middle of the season because he tore his ACL. He tore his ACL. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, They got a T. I like they T. Cause, cause the, the, the uh, Cleveland they got the bigs. When Jerry Allen go out, you go put Moby at the five and bring Kevin Love in to be the stretch four. You're right, bro. Yeah, they got they got a big. Cause I, cause yeah, Donovan Mitchell and Garland can play with each other, dude. They was getting some nice chemistry together, too. Yeah. People be talking about Mitchell height and stuff, but it, it don't matter, bro. Hot <laughs> Tom's way was short, too. That's what she was going Yeah. I didn't know Mitchell was only 6'1", though. <laughs> yeah, he's short. He remind me of, uh, he remind me of Dwayne Wade and uh, DeWine Wagner. You thought DeWine Wagner uh, had the health issues? Yeah, the wild was nice. Yeah, his son. His son. His, 
<laughs> His son, the number one player in the uh, country. Yeah, I think he. I think he's going to. He might. I think he's going to Kentucky. I think he. Yeah. He played for Calipari. You know, his dad played for Calipari at Memphis, so. though. Oh, that's right. I was about to say I would go to the same school my dad went to, but Memphis. That guy gave me Kyle Perry. He's the same coach, so. Yeah, yeah they got a. Uh... Yeah. Wait, what draft you gonna be in? I mean, you gonna be in. The... Oh, the year after Victor. The year after Victor, right? Yeah. Victor and um, I like school. School remind me of uh. Uh, a dead rolls book and shoot. Right. Dead rolls, that's right. Victor, Victor, man, when they show him sitting next to standing next to Gobert, he made Gobert look short. <laughs> how, how tall is Victor? How tall is he? He's seven five with shoes on. What? Yeah, they show Victor him standing. Is- yeah, with shoes on, he's well, 75. Handles, he can handle suit for that height, bro. <laughs> yeah, and he can shoot. Yeah. Pissing my little tank, bro. <laughs> Kibble Walker still on the Pistons, so I thought he got. I thought he got bought out. I don't think he on Pistons. I don't think so. You seen him? No. Uh, yeah, he got. I think he got bought out a long time before the preseason even started. <laughs> I wonder who they start. I wonder who, who I'm not a big, this guy start. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big Kimba guy for like college, but I'm just not big. I'm just not. I too little. Just, his height, yeah. Too small. Him and Isaiah Thomas was too little. Yeah, Pistons don't need that. We just don't need that, bro. <laughs> I think so. I wonder who they start lining up. The Pistons. It's probably going to be K, Ivy. Um. Hey, Ivy. I wonder if they're going to start by Dynamich and Bay. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, Bay, you don't want to start his growth, but by Dynamich is a way better shooter. Like, it's like, mm-hmm. Pistons. You know, Bagley, I, I just don't like them starting Stewart at center, bro. No. I don't like them starting, bro. They should start. They should start old boy from Memphis, the athletic dude. Okay, Durant. Yeah, they should start him. Yeah, he's 6'10", 250. They got to start him, bro. And then, yeah, they, it's a, they, they got K, Ivy Bay, by Donovich, out there, Stewart. Uh-oh. So we got three key players injured. Bagley, Alex Burks, and um, Norris Noel. We got three of them guys from the Knicks. Let me see. Who they, who they play first? The Orlando Magic better beat them. Pablo. You remind me of you remind me of Blake with but with perimeter skills. Oh yeah, I think he go. Well, I know what you're saying. I think he's gonna be way better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, even though Blake Griffin more athletic, but I think the way I mean, ain't nobody Blake Griffin more athletic than almost anybody. Like you jump out the jump but. Manchero got that mid range already, bro. He be going crazy. Yeah, he got the mid range. They got Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, France Wagner, Fialo, uh, Manchero, and uh, Wendell Carter. Oh, and Isaac is gonna be healthy, bro. I think he got potential. Bro. I don't know what's wrong with my boy. Cause they got Jonathan Isaac, Mobamba, Okiki, Gary Harris, and uh, Mikael Fultz off the bench. They got Terrence Ross, dude, don't they? Yeah, Terrence Ross too. Yeah, Terrence Ross. RJ Hampton. That's their toilet right there. They got an athletic they got an athletic scene. I like RJ Hampton. He might take folks, but folks better step it up this year, man. Dude. They got called Anthony starting on Markel starting. They say Anthony, but I looked at it, it has that cold a couple days ago. I mean Fultz, but they say uh Fultz is out right now. So I think it is Fultz and call Anthony off the bench. I remember Carl Anthony, uh, uh, the dude that played for Brooklyn, played in high school together. Uh, uh, what's the two? The, uh, Cam Thomas. They played in high school together. At yeah, Oak like Hill. he was blown last year. 
I mean, but these NBA players, I kind of expect it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's, if it's like three guys out and it's he out there, I just think the NBA think, players, bro. I like, think, yeah. Cam, tell, Cam Thomas is nice. He just, he just on that team, he ain't going to be able to show his talent like that because they got too many guys. Nope. If I was, if I was the Knicks, man, I'd start. I'll, I'll start Cam Reddish. Yeah, I'll, start I'll start him and I'll start him and RJ Beard. What you gonna do? You start running out the five? No, I put. Oh, you take four. You take four year out there. Yeah, four year out the ladder. Yeah, so you trying to go Brunt? Cause they got Brunson, four year, RJ Barrett, Randall, and Mitchell Robbins. You can't take. Yeah, you can't take Mitchell Robinson or Randall or RJ out. Like you said, I put take four year out, put uh, Reddish in, and move RJ to the two. Mm-hmm. He's so skinny. He gotta play the two, bro. Yeah. Reddish, Reddish, athletic. Reddish is nice, bro. Then off the bench, they were quickly dead rows. They think they bench kind of thin, though, outside of them, too. Oh, yeah. I'll be topping. Yeah, I'm covering a lot of teams. The Thunder going to be losing a lot, but they're going to be a lot of – they're going to win a lot of bets for people with SGA, Giddy, and Dort. They're going to be going crazy, though. Yeah. Like stat-wise and bet, bet, uh, basically. Yeah, I wish our boy could have played. He injured his foot, though. Check. They might get. He, shit. Victor ass might go there. <laughs> uh, yeah, him yeah, man check. Yeah, I think they're going to have a team. Uh, him check. Definitely going to be losing. Him, uh, him man check on the squad. Yeah, I need Victor need to go somewhere where they got a good, where they, where they, where they got a good point guard. Like a, like a thunder. He'd be good in Houston, Indiana with Halliburton. Mm-hmm. What other team? A weak team. They got a good point guard. I think the Kings should have kept Halliburton and let Dear Fox go somewhere else. That's what they should have did. Yeah, for sure. And you don't like you don't Mr. Fox. I like him. I think he just need to be on a better team. Oh, okay. There's so much dysfunction in Sacramento. We're bad. We had a problem with the coaches and stuff. Remember, remember Boogie, Go- Boogie Cousins was there for a while. And he got finally got traded to a – he need to be on somebody's team, man. This is this, this sad. Ooh. This dude that on, bro. Boogie what Cousins should be – I said Boogie need to be on the team. Yeah, that's so crazy to me, though. He should be playing. I'm pissed this Yankee game got delayed, though. Uh-huh. It's a rain delay in New York for the Yankees. Who are they playing today? The Guardians still. This is limit. This game five. The loser go home. I believe the Dodgers lost. Yeah, they lost to the Padres this day. It's Padres and Phillies in the NL. It's Padres and Phillies. Did you did you did you watch the Redeem team documentary? I didn't yet, bro. I said I didn't. Oh. I already. I, I kind of feel like we we didn't. I hadn't seen it, especially when I was like, at that time I was like in college. For, I think I was in college that time. I, like, I, don't, I know the documentary probably gonna show way more stuff though that we didn't know. But. They said they said Kobe used to get up at four o'clock to work out. He said the rest of the, all the other dudes used to be it. <laughs> Playing used around to be all sleep. The, at the club. Yeah, they said Kobe was like they when he was uh with Shaq and them, they didn't like him because like they'd be like, We going out, Kobe, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> yeah. I mean plus he already he got married early, so he already had his wife. What's the point of going to the club? Um, what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You watching the the no, Padres is different this year. They picked up that's why Soto, man. Will you play pitcher? Oh, he played outfield. He was uh, he one of the best players in the league. They traded for him at the deadline, mm. and he was already oh, like, 
That nigga. I think the Dodgers is good with Mookie Betts but the, I think the Padres average players are better than the, the uh, Dodgers average players. Mm, I think. Like they hold one through nine lineups and hit, basically. Mm. The Padres. Hold on, bro. Let me get this cold. Hold on. Yeah, my bad, bro. They play. Oh, oh yeah. Who who are who the seventy sixes pick up in the all season? Oh, they got PJ Tucker. They got yeah. uh, they got oh, they got that they got that Milton dude from Philly. Me from Memphis. Yeah, Milton. yeah, they got. They moved Bible to the bench. That's a that was very important for me though. For them, because they got PJ Tucker. At least he can hit all bench. I don't know. I just think. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he's not even a good scorer, he probably still a better scorer than Bible is. Yeah. They gonna put him on Tatum tomorrow. Who they starters? It's Harden. Who is it? Harden. Who they starters? Harden. Uh, Harden Maxi. Harden Maxi. Tobias Tucker. And yep. Embiid. Yep. Yeah. They gonna put y'all. T- what's the name? PJ Tucker gonna guard Jason Tatum. They're going to probably put... Tucker Barn Tatum, is it? I would say the, ring, the redeemed team, the way Kobe went through, Paul Gasoline on that pick was an epic. Oh, Paul Gasol. So, oh, yeah. My bad. That was all oh, great. Yeah. He'd be doing that to me, too. I thought he was just trying to say he was soft or something. Yeah, Paul Gasol, yeah. Paul, Paul, Paul Pierce. Paul, I remember Paul Pierce said that, that Kobe toughy Paul Gasol up. Yeah, people would have stopped. They always try to say Kobe... I had this person. Like I look like I saw one of my favorite players, like favorite power forward. So he might be my favorite power forward. But so we gotta realize that yeah. I mean before he played with Kobe, he was a one time all star, but Memphis couldn't even get out the first round. Yeah. Cause what I do go say. Who your top five in a who your top five post in a, in a post? I got a I mean I got Elijah Wan and Mikhail. That's me. That's just me. I got I got I got Elijah Wan, Mikhail. Uh, so cold in the post, bro. Like for real. Yeah, them up and unders. I got Elijah, Mikael. Oh, who else was nice down there? Oh, um, she actually was good too, but he just didn't play hard all the time. <laughs> yeah, no, he did. She post game was nice. Um, Duncan, maybe. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, Timmy. Uh, I think, I think Gasol. You don't think Gasol? Tim Duncan better post game better than Gasol. Well, yeah, he said, got the fist footwork. I mean, it's just the way he... Yeah. Pop, yeah I take Tim Duncan. I think it's all like fourth, though, honestly, bro. Yeah, out of the post players? Yeah. Yeah, like just post game. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And KG, KG had moves down there, too. Especially right. the, young, the young KG in Minnesota. Duncan looked like a robot, but he was cold on the post. Yeah. <laughs> he played like a robot, yeah. Yeah, Kevin McHale has so many moves, man. Yeah, that's why I think Elijah and then McHale. Uh, yeah, McHale, that up, the little up and unders. Yeah, yeah, I, that's not time for the Duncan Gasol, KG or KG Duncan Gasol. However, you want to go with those three. Yeah, my top two is a came man. Kevin. Me too. Kale. Yeah, it's not even for me. That ain't even the debate for me. It's like. <laughs> Hell, be going crazy, bro. And the fact that he shot like fifty-seven percent, that's a power forward, like man. The one year he had was like twenty-six and like, <laughs> like twenty-seven and twelve. I think. That's what I'm saying. Like guys back in the day, did they sacrificed numbers to win, bro? Yeah. Even Jordan sacrificed his numbers because he was like, "Got to put him better on the ball. Let's, let's let me play off the ball." Mm-hmm. I want to stick stuff. Like, come on now. Remember, Dwayne, Dwayne Wade was good with the ball in his hand. He had to change up for LeBron. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, that's not like, you think West, you think Westbrook would have a problem playing with like if he was with Kawhi or something. I don't know. I'm just saying, bro. Mm. That's why. That's why I say, see, see, I think I think KD and Steph are the part the. I think they're the two easiest guys to play with because they're not ball dominant. You know, they. Oh yeah, Kyrie. Kyrie can play off the ball too. I'm sorry, guys like that that can play off the ball. It's easier to play with, like dudes like Harden and LeBron and Luca. They gotta have a high usage rate for them to be effective. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, oh yeah, Jamal Murray was putting up crazy numbers before he got hurt last year. I mean, a year before last. He was having in a, in like, 23, bubble. but, huh? In the bubble? No, no, I ain't talking about, I'm talking about in the regular season before oh, okay. he got hurt. He was putting up, like, 23, shoot, like, 47 from the field and, like, 42 from three. It was balling. Oh, we're going to have to for sure, bro. Yeah, that. That's why, that's why you notice. Know and then, when you cut, when you come to Golden State, it's easy. You could you could plug in a lot of dudes in that system, and they're gonna be good. Like wing players. Yeah. You had you went from you had wit you had you went from you had Harrison Barnes. He went there, kind of play. He got drafted there, played straight. Then you got KD. He played straight. Then they plug in Wiggins. Mm-hmm. If you a good three D wing, or you could, or you could put up buckets, whatever you, you just throw them in that lineup with Clay, Steph, and Draymond. Yeah, they gonna compete for championships just because how good their system is. I just don't see how much like he KD left Golden State, bro. <laughs> he would have had four. He would have had about five rings right now. Yeah, because last year they won it. And KD ain't going to hurt your team. Like, first, like, oh, we messing up our chemistry. Because KD is catch and shoot. We can do whatever. Mm-hmm. I was reading up on Kevin Porter Jr., but I didn't know he was, he was number five, like, catch and shoot percentage. He was, like, 48%, bro. So he was top five catch and shoot shooter in the league, basically. Damn. I was like, dang, I ain't even – because I didn't get to watch Houston, though. Like, they're going to be excited with him. I'm mad they traded Christian Wood, though, but they probably won't Victor. That's probably <laughs> – Yo. Yeah. Oh, let me look at that too. Let me see. NBA draft.net. So they got Victor uh, one one Biyama, and then uh, the second pick they got Scoot Henderson, point guard, and then Brandon Miller, and then Derek uh, Whitehead, and then Nick Smith. Oh, for real. They got the. They got that. They got they got the two they got two twin brothers that's nice too the Thompson twins. Hold on, oh yeah they got they got to go on fifteen sixteen. I saw I saw Thompson and uh, Amin Thompson. Uh, what they uh, Arabic? I said they Arabic. I think so. Yeah. They both six. Yeah. One five pounds heavier. They both like the same like like I said twins, bro. So yeah, they got uh, Victor Wimbiana out of uh, Wimbiana. What was that? Wimbiana. Wimbiana. He's seven two. They say seven two. He's like seven five, bro. But they got him out of France, and they got Scoot Henderson out of Dealey, Brandon Miller out of the Alabama, De- Derek Whitehead out of Duke, and then Nick Smith out of Arkansas. Point guard six five. Mm-hmm. They compare Nick Smith to uh, Jamal Crawford. They compare yeah. Derek Whitehead to Tyler Hero. From Duke, they got him from Duke. Brandon Miller from Alabama, they compare him to uh, Paul George. Oh, they got him going to the Pistons third too. But it's, it's hard to tell who gonna get the first pick. If the season ain't even started yet, Scoot mm-hmm. Henderson, they not compare him to nobody yet. He's six two, one ninety five out the G League. And then Victor, they probably got him to Giannis. They probably be Giannis. I'll say Ralph Sampson. Yeah. Okay. Ralph Sampson, they can shoot threes. Well, so that's what we're these, foreign, these foreign players be cold, bro. Like, I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah. bro, yeah. Luca, okay, Rob, 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 in. like, come on, that's not crazy, bro. Giannis and B, Giannis and B, yeah, like, without them players, I, I just, I'm just glad they, the league global now, bro. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, people might be like, oh, it ain't that the least off. It's like, it's like guys just know how to shoot threes. <laughs> yeah. You got Cat Williams, Carl Anthony Towns shoot 40% from three. Who? Uh, Anthony Towns. I think that was like, that might have been last year, though. But oh, he was yeah. taking like seven a game. Like, he ain't like he was just not shooting it. Yeah. Towns was all that. They could have beat Memphis if D'Lo would have played better. He played like t- he played terrible. That's the only person I'm worried about out of that starting lineup because I like Anthony Edwards. Like you said, they they didn't think the three and D. He don't need the ball in his hands. He got Gobert defensive guy. He got uh, and Gobert can score. I mean, he can score fourteen a game still. He probably gonna, yeah. it's gonna go down. It's probably gonna go down. His rebounds gonna go up though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that ain't. Uh, uh, D'Lo, he cost the best. He played horrible against Memphis. Yeah, he gonna have to really be the fourth best player for them to have it. He gotta be the fourth. He ain't got no choice. <laughs> he should try to lead. Because after coming, bro, it's over. He 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 need to try to lead the league and assist. Or try yeah, to exactly. He, he talented. He can do it though. That's what I'm saying. Like, he can do everything, bro. It's like I think D'Lo be acting on. Uh, he probably just don't work. I ain't trying to say he don't work hard, but. I was saying he probably just do just enough. Like I'm good enough to make the, the start in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are happy with that though. I'm a starter in the NBA. That's cool. But yeah, you said Kobe, yeah got... Kobe worked out three times a day. You said. I mean, they said he was working out at four o'clock in the morning, four thirty in the morning, while everybody else was in the club. Because Melo, he. Uh, because Melo the one recruited him. He said oh, at I first Kobe, in the club too. <laughs> Kobe, he recruited Kobe. Kobe at first was telling him like, man, I ain't fucking with that shit. The US the USA shit. Then Mike successfully oh, had the year he was terrible in 08. The, the year before he came, he kept telling Kobe to come on. And Mike Shashesi said we had to go recruit him. Because you know, uh, Mike Shashesi was about to be the coach of the Lakers in 04 when Shaq first left. He's about to be the coach. And Duke was one of the schools. Kobe was on his list. That's where he was going to go. I think it was was between Duke and North Carolina. Duke, Uh, North Carolina, uh, and Michigan. Dang, who was Kobe with him to Michigan? Dang, he broke every record, bro. He he said he picked Duke on – he thought – he said uh, he picked Michigan on the list because he thought Kevin Garnett was going to go there. You know, because Kevin Garnett was going to go there the year before he was supposed oh, to go. My dad said the game, KG played in that um, round ball class. My dad said he took us there. I just I was too young to remember. Mm. He said you should have seen KG, how good he was in high school. The dude that played with him was nice, too. Ronnie. You heard about Ronnie? Ronnie Fields? Yeah. I think that's who he mentioned, too. He said Ronnie. My dad said Ronnie. Yeah, he got, he got, got paralyzed. He was nice, I got too, one though. for you. It's on Twitter. It's a ran- ransom or Bodie James. Who? Ransom what, or Bodie James. I like ran- ransom too, man. He 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 too cold. Nice, yeah, he too nice. He too nice. Oh, this West Side Gun new album come on next week. He said he got a lot of features on there. I want to hear it. Man, Cause that'll be going crazy, bro. Heck yeah. That's the kind I of like- hip hop I like, bro. Like Benny the Butcher be going nuts, man. And 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 uh and Ron Streets be going nuts too. Yeah, Ron, I gotta listen to his album, but everybody be um I watch this hip hop channel and they be saying I didn't even I swear I didn't even know who Benny the Butcher was or uh I didn't know who Benny was or uh or Ron Streets. I've been to Ransom because he was beefing with Joe Button back in the day. I remember that shit was funny. I'm like, yeah, they, might have lost they, that one though. He might have lost the Ransom to the key. Him and Ransom, him and Ransom. Ransom. They uh, cool now. Yeah, they 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 is cool before the beef. Oh, because Joe Budden said, he said, he said, uh, he basically said, like, if uh, if I like, he like, even if, if you do something that I don't like, I'm going for your head. He like, I was a, he like, I was a Jay-Z fan and went for his head. Because <laughs> he, yeah. he, he, he told me he called himself a whole Avenger, like. Yeah, yo, Ransom, uh, Ransom on a couple of, uh, he, uh, Ransom on, uh, a couple of old Fab albums, too. Yeah, because Ransom, I remember, uh, Fab's brother was cold, too. Paul Game was cold, bro. Yeah, yeah, his yeah, his half brother. I was listening to one of his old mixtapes earlier. Me too. I saw a lot. Of, I'm fat, I'm, 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 I heard every fan mixtape, everything, bro. Like I still was going back to it. What was that song? Um, what was the name of that song? Fat Pad. It was on the um the backstage. Oh, gotta be thug. Remember that song? Yeah. 
Yeah, that song was cold. I like this is the family too. The one up, it's like the last song from uh, from nothing or something. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Be man. Uh... No, I like that. Uh, that Street Dreams Part Two uh, mixtape. Oh yeah, when he was rapping off the uh, the uh, Renegade beat. Renegade and that um, it was the BK style. Uh, the one off that F U uh, the locks beat. Oh yeah. The Joe Bud, I think Joe Joe Budden's on there. I think. He yeah, he on that the first song. The end, it's called. It start with the N word basically. It's him, yeah. Paul Kane, and Joe Budden. Like I don't even know who got the best verse, but Fat had a lot of punchlines though. He just killed him with the yeah. punchline. Yeah. Punchline wise, I think. The punch eyes is between you. Fab, Fab and uh Banks. They them dudes, them dudes, them dudes got punch lines for days. Yeah, for sure. I just think like I'm trying to think like Fab. It was one of the songs off of uh off of uh what's that Street Dreams? The first the, his album, the one that was it went like two times platinum, but it was the way he was rhyming like. Dang. He rhymed, He was rhyming words that nobody. I never heard nobody rhyme with except for like maybe like Rod King or like Black Thought or something. Like he was going oh, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was um. I think it's called Damn. I think it was like a single kind of, but it was like a, a girl singing. Damn, what did he yeah. Say? Yeah. Fast he was rhyming like he rhymed one word and then rhymed three words in between and rhymed the fourth word like that Rod King flow. Bro. That jump was crazy though. Yeah. That's why I said Rock Kim, it won't be nobody without none of these rappers without Rock Kim. Because <laughs> yeah. he started that little rhyme, that rhyme scheme, bro. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, I think, I, I think, I think, I think, I feel, I feel Fab in my top 15 all the time. Yeah. I got him in my top 10 only because I'm biased, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't see how people be throwing, like, I mean, they automatically throw Kendrick over Fab. It's like, oh, I don't know, bro. I mean, I love Kendrick, but come on, man. Like, no. This is like 20 years of work, bro. I'm like, yeah, he might have more of a hit. I mean, he might have bigger songs. Cause, mm -hmm. But, like, come on, bro. Because like, lyrically, I, don't think, I think lyrically is closer than what people think, bro. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when he was like, he said you could be prancing through ghettos and a Dior pants and stilettos. All you got to do is swallow some kids like that wish they had some Gretto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fab, yeah, fab, Boy, fab, nice way. He said, "Who's the handsomest ghetto?" And yeah, this man, Aries, look transparent, and my Mitchell and Nessa throwback look so old. They could be somebody's grandparents. Yeah, you got to think about this was like '03, so like Mitchell and Ness yeah. and throwbacks was popular back then. Yeah, yeah, that uh, I like oh that. Oh my uh, gosh, he called. You said what? That that Friday's Night Freestyle album called too. Back yeah, DJ we got cool. that. The Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing. That one. Oh, what's, let me see. That's uh, I like that he got back with DJ Clue, bro. That's to me the number one. That's DJ Clue number one for me, bro. Yeah. Oh, drama, drama. I think drama set close second uh, for me. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah DJ Clue Some first. I can say y'all, he some first the most entertaining for sure. Like he, his radio show, like I don't think nobody, I don't think Clue and Westman could do that. Like a radio show that entertaining, but I'm talking about just DJ and like mixtapes. I got Clue and drama. DJ Clue, Drama, and probably like DJ Who Kid. Yeah, because the G Unit stuff, bro, you can't forget. That was some of the best mixtapes ever, bro. Let me see. Oh, that's some yeah. fast ass. He's like, some, uh, I forgot what you, it was something about hockey or something. No hockey, Chinese food, less beef, no broccoli. <laughs> hey, what, what, hey, what, what do you say? Who was that? He was on that one song. That was my first time hearing him, though. That's when I first ever heard of him. Like Grinding he Freestyle? On, no, he was on, uh, what was the name of that song? It was a Fantastic Four. It was, uh, it was, uh. uh DJ Clue Professional 2? Yeah. Oh, I had it that. Was I bought that album from the store. That's it was Cam. Cool. It was a legend, bro. Cam. It was Cam. It was hit. It was Fab Cam, the locks, uh. Nature. I'm about to find it right now. This this makes it definitely with a classic though. Yeah, oh, this was his name. Uh, this was his name was Fabulous Sport back then. Yeah. Yeah, because it say Fabulous Sport, and they say his real name is John Jackson. Yeah, That's yeah. Fabulous. It's a him. It was him, Foxy Brown, and uh, and Mace. 
No, the song I'm talking about is called uh, Fantastic Four. It's, oh, yeah, it's uh, Big Pun. You talking Big Pun, Cameron, Cannabis, and Nori? Huh? It's a Big Pun, Cameron, Cannabis, and Nori. No, it's another one. He he on the, it's, it's a part two to that. It's on, uh, it's, I think it's on DJ. I'm it's sorry, bro. I'm sorry. This, I'm on Professional One. That's why. It was two. Yeah. It was Professional Two. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 2001. Yeah, that's the first time I heard Fab on that song. He his bars was on there cold. I'm about to listen to them when I get off of here. Yeah, it's part two. It's Fab, Cameron, Nature, and uh, the Locks. Yep. Produced by Clue and Duro. Duro. Yeah, Fab verse on there, nice. Yeah, yeah. You said your time. You said 15. Yeah, I got him like. I got him after like Wayne, J. Nas, yeah. Biggie. Wayne, J. Nas, and Big, really. After yeah. that, it's debatable for me. <laughs> who you got? Who you, what's your, who you have? What? Am I, I top mean, 15 team? people better than Fat. I mean, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. You got. You got. Don't have to be a water, but who you got like above Fat for sure? Like, above him? Yeah. A uh, whole. Uh, Nas, uh, sure. uh, Rakim, okay, uh, B. Daddy Kane, um, that's four. Wayne, um, right? Yeah, Wayne. That's five. Because uh, I don't include J. D. Kissing them because they was a group, so I don't count them. Uh, oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, that's what people need to do. Under three thousand. Much we love yeah. him, but he was in the group. Yeah. Um, that's five. Did I say Nas already? Yeah, he said J Nas, Kane, Rakim, and Wayne. That's five. Oh yeah. Uh, even though I don't like him, I'm gonna put him over him though. M. Uh, Drake. M. Who? M. Oh, M. Yeah. Uh, that's six. You kind of got to because he is better lyrically and he got more yeah. success too. <laughs> Um, let's see. Pun. Uh, Pun is seven. You forgot Big E and say Big E or Pot. Oh, yeah, them two. I forgot about them. That's nine. Oh, it's okay. kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're uh, right. Uh, you might be down. Yeah, it's uh, like that temp spot. It's like. Uh, no, you're missing somebody, bro. You don't got KRS one up there? That's right. Oh yeah, him. Carry as well. Cool G rap. That's eleven. Common. That's twelve. Okay, common. Yeah. Uh, That's twelve. I'm about to see this top fifty list right here. Cute, cute. And the other two, the only two before them is uh Scar Race and Ice Cube. And that's it. Okay, that's fourteen. Okay. Yeah, because this list got Jay Z one nine, two big and three. Tupac four, under two thousand five, Ice Cube six, Rakim seven, Ghostface Killer eight, Eminem nine, Karras one ten, Black Dog eleven, Scarface twelve, Lil Wayne thirteen, damn, and they're doing fourteen, Big Daddy Kane fifteen. They got Ghostface. They got Ghostface Killer. Where? Number eight. What? Yeah, I know. It's like. <laughs> he was a group in a group, but anyway, Kane fifteen, they got Chuck D sixteen, Kendrick seventeen. Method Man 18, Kanye 19, and then. Oh, yeah, and I had to pick one more before Fab. Cole, my bad. Okay. Then L. Cool J 20. Then Cool J Rap 20. They got Cool J Rap number 21. I'm about to X this shit out. And I don't even know. I ain't even lived through that era, but come on, bro. Like, <laughs> they had L. I seen they all this. They had got mad because they had, um, like, Funk Flex had Rakim, like, number eight or some shit. And he was like, the one dude was like, man, he like, he like, nah, this is Rakim's son. I was cracking up. <laughs> He is right, though. <laughs> yeah. I think Fab is, too. Yeah. Like, they, I think all look up to Rock Ham, bro. Like, Tupac, Tupac did, too. Tupac said that was his fact. That's what he looked up to. Yeah. That's why I'm like, people people act like Pac ain't like the East Coast. Like, he ain't never diss Red Man. Who? I said, Pac respected Red Man. He was cool. He got Red Man on his album. He ain't never diss him. He used to diss Jay-Z. Red Man. Man. <laughs> uh... Red Man and Method Man was on this album. They was yep, on, all on that same on song, me. that All Eyes On Me, yeah. Yeah. I, I, think, I think All Eyes On Me probably would be his best album, but I think his most impressive is the uh, 
me against the world because he did most of those songs by himself. Mm-hmm. It wasn't no, you know, no Nate Dogg on there, no KC and JoJo. Was what's in that? Did I put Snoop in there? Huh? I forgot. I forgot about Snoop. Oh, you said Snoop. I'm not taking him over fast. <laughs> no, I. Ain't. Like lyrics, no, I ain't. it's like no, no, no. I mean, for most people. I mean, I guess like the average, like casual hip hop fan, but like, yeah, Snoop better, but you listen to what they be saying. Like, uh. No. Banks was on his way, but he just, because his mixtape, his mixtape's classic, bro. Like, yeah. That ain't you, 50 ain't putting him out there. He ain't using him right, but yeah. No. What's the name? One of my favorite rappers. He, he ain't lived that long. Big L. He was nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Big L and Lord Finesse, like, birth, like, Cass and Lloyd Banks and mm-hmm. all the punchliners, J.R. Ryder, all the kind of rappers. Mm-hmm. Like, they wouldn't be, like, they all know they looked up to Big L. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I guess if you, yeah, Big L make the list if you're talking about, like, just most talented or lyrical. Because you don't know mm-hmm. how long you live if you're talking about lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care how long, like, Big L got two albums. You're still not better than him. <laughs> And rapping, so I don't care. Like you got ten albums, bro. That's all. Yeah, that 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 freestyle hit that Jazzy had. That shit was cold. Yeah. Yeah. He he. They said big. Uh, Jay Z said he was gonna be a part of Rockefeller if he ain't passed away. He's gonna be what? A part with a part of the rock. Oh yeah. They was going, um, they just said Biggie was alive. They was going to be, um, remember he said Biggie, everybody say, Ho, one be Ho, he like, Ho, be part of the commission. Like, it was a group called Commission with yeah, Biggie yeah. and Jay Z. Yeah. It was supposed to be them too, and I think it's somebody else, I think. Yeah, probably, I think it, it might have been not, because I remember they said Nas had mentioned that he was supposed to be in a group with Biggie too, so they probably just ain't announced it because it would have been Biggie, Nas, and Jay Z. Yeah. I was like, Biggie, do all the hooks. Biggie, do all the hooks. I know, I know they were supposed to come out with a group called the Forest Horsemen. It was supposed to be Nas, it was supposed to be Nas, Raekwon, Ghostface, and um, and Prodigy. I mean, no, and Big Pun. It's supposed to be the Four well, Horsemen. Did Biggie tell Nas not to do it because he was beefing Wu Tang or something? Huh? I think Biggie had told Nas not to do it because because I, I remember my oldest cousin. I remember he had the uh the uh remember when the Source was out the Source magazine. Yeah, the Source magazine, yeah. It had it had uh, Raekwon, Ghostface, and Nas and um, Big Pun on the cover. Yeah, they was about to be a group. Oh, you know Nas? Uh, you gotta watch this. I don't know if you seen his drink chance there. That was one of the best ones. He was like, he was talking about Nas. that told him like, you have fun with the Wu Tang niggas. <laughs> and Nas was like, what? Because he just took a picture with Ghostface or something. Man, not Biggie ain't like them back there. Oh yeah. I'm like, dang. So Nas probably was like, dang. Biggie probably told him like, no, nah, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. Cause I think what about it Lupe? was Lupe's new album. Nice, it came out like three months ago, though. It did. Yeah, Lupe uh, new album, Auto Bot, Auto Bot, Auto Bot. Oh, oh, that's the that's drill music and Zion. That's the name of the album. He got it. Lupe. Like, I have to keep yeah. Candy top. He could have been top fifteen, but he kind of stopped though. Oh yeah. Cause coming at four, if you look at the catalog, coming at like four, then they're four classic albums. Yeah, and Lupe only got one, the cool, right? Yeah, yeah. But lyrically, it's like I mean, kind of got lyrics too, though. No, no, well, he was big. I mean, like, even people people put him on a high lyrics list for real. Common was be. I mean, like, Common was be for uh, with Q. Common held his own, man. Yeah. This is Ice Cube got that raw. Like even if he's not a better lyricist, even if he's not better lyricist, the Common is like he make it sound like his delivery better. Yeah, that's all uh, Ice Cube had with Chuck D was cold. Oh, yeah. And that's a nice list, though. So, Fab, like, 16 on your list. If you put Snoop, oh, 15, 15. That's Snoop would be yeah, like 16. Yeah. No, he said cold, too. So, that's... Yeah, he's 16. Yeah, Fab, yeah. like, 16. <laughs> yeah, that boy cold. That boy cold. Got bars, boy. <laughs> yeah, I don't see why people... He don't never win no awards, though, man. Be... Huh? I just tired of disrespecting Cole, man. That's all, that verse. That's all, that verse he had on Benny on Benny albums. Whew, Johnny P. Caddy, yeah, bro. Come on, man. Then he just yeah. did a, he just did another verse with uh. Let me see. 
2022. Cole was man, bro. Bro, you can tell when his peers, when your peers know you are the best, like because that documentary they had twenty one on there, twenty one savage on there, and he a rapper himself, and he was just saying like, oh, he was just basically like, I don't know, just like basically just with Cole like sinking everything in, like uh, stuff he be doing, like the way he rap and stuff, like. It's like these his peers, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, Cole got them bars. Yeah. Damn. I mean, I think I think rappers they understand more, like, cause they had uh, I think they had like, cause they had Mano and Bow Wow on one of them shows, and they was like, and they was like, you know, what I'm saying they could be like, Cole, nice, like they don't ever. And remember, Styles P was mad at them because they was trying to hate on Cole. Styles P was, I'm a Cole fan, he like, I'm a Kendrick fan, like, but y'all better stop acting like Cole ain't ain't top tier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Styles went off on them, bro. Yeah. Oh, she said, hey, she said, my nephew said, hey. <laughs> Yeah, not yeah, style uh I gotta start I gotta see my nephew man. I just he played T ball for the pal this year. I went to like oh, three cool. games out of like the, it was like eight games or nine games. I went to three of them. Yeah, my little cousin basketball season about to start. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, ninth grade. And I'd be calling my nephew, my brother and my nephew being a background like my little cu- my little cousin, he like six three and a half. Already? Not what how old is he? Uh Fourteen. Oh, he got to start. Yeah, my brother be training kids too. I don't. We didn't really do too much this summer, but we about to get it. That's why he got to get that pain training stuff back going, man. Uh, they got us. My little cousin. He was playing at you last year, but they got to train. They train my little cousin. The team he was on. He be training. Um, he be he wanna um he want he be around Phil Haney to do that uh train Kyrie and him. Oh, I follow Haney on um, his Instagram. Be lit, bro. It'd be like, mm-hmm. he don't want got he don't want got Kobe and Kyrie together too. He got him to work out to start training Kyrie. Oh yeah, I want to go to um, 